Welcome back folks to another episode of d -Pads Daily. Hope you guys are having fun watching this series. Um, if you are enjoying, make sure you're liking our videos, commenting on them, and most importantly, subscribing to our channel as there's lots of, lots more content to come regarding this series and many more other aspects of my life. I'm back on site right now. You know, two days, it's been two days since we poured those footings. I am standing on the footings. And look what they have. They've already put the the walls, forms, uh, form work on site here, ready to prep for the walls, uh, which is happening, you know, in two or three days, early next week. And soon we'll have all our walls and you'll be able to kind of start visualizing our build here. Pouring concrete is probably one of my most uh, favorite parts of construction. It's so fascinating to, um, how we pour when we pour it, it's so fresh. It's so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it, it's almost like a liquid compound that's moving freely. And then just a day later, I'm able to walk on it. And after about seven days, it's at 70% strength. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't take too long for concrete to get to its uh, strength capacity. It takes full 28 days, I think, to get to, I think it's 98% strength. Uh, that's when it's reached its full potential, almost. Um, we have a few things happening. So today we're gonna have our sump pump guys uh, coming. They'll be putting, they'll be making a big pit here, about six feet deep, and installing a sump pump in here. What that sump pump does, basically, any water that's collected beneath the, the actual foundation of the house gets collected in this pit and the sump pump then activates if it gets above a certain level and then it pumps all the water out of the home and away from the home. That's probably one of the most important aspects of your foundation that, you know, you never want any water uh, coming uh, towards your home underneath your home because especially here we have our freeze and thaw cycles and it's never good to have water underneath because that can really either lift up your home or settle it when it's uh when it thaws so that's never a good thing actually i'll show you something really cool you can see that's literally frost on site you can see it inside the dirt so it's still you know it's we've had days of like 30 plus degrees and these things are still frozen. It's like solid ice. They say frost goes about four or five feet deep into the ground, which is why most of our excavation um, is deeper than five feet. Uh, this one was a sloped land. That's why that side is much deeper. As I showed you in my previous video, it's actually uh, taller than me, that side wall. But this side is lower. I think it was just a sloped land, but we checked for frost underneath before we poured our footings and there was no frost underneath, so we were okay. But that's really cool. That's the first time I've seen ice build up like that in the ground. Um, we, you know, we hear about frost, but it's the first time I've actually personally experienced it. So now, you know, today we'll have our sump guys coming in and then next week uh, we'll have the concrete walls going up and soon after that, we'll start framing. We're scheduled for our concrete pour tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. So these guys will be hard at work getting everything set up. Just look at these. This is probably some of the strongest materials. These are the ties that they have to make sure that they're properly sealed and closed off because with the when the once the concrete's poured the weight of the concrete sometimes will start leading the walls one way or the other and that's what these straps come in handy and they actually keep the walls in place and keep them straight because you wouldn't want a wonky wall especially with concrete as you can see here it's nice and straight put three bars through Look 
that. So there's three rows of rebars usually that they put in. Oh, actually there is three already. One, two, and then three. Our sump guys finally showed up this morning as well and they put their sumps in. I'll take a I'll take you guys there to show you. You have to be careful on sight right now while walking. It's very tricky, uneven ground. I should technically wear a hard hat when I'm coming here. Here we are at the sump. So this looks nice and clean. Our my goal will be this time around to keep it as clean when it's time for possession. Because this usually gets a lot of beating by the time we're done with it. Because it's installed at such an early stage. Then we have our framing crews, all the other crews to come. Our basement gets poured. Um, so it gets, it's a real mess by the end of it. The storm's here. It's expected to snow today and tomorrow. So no one's on site. We had to reschedule our pour for tomorrow. And an unfortunate incident also happened. Our concrete guys, you know, they got their metal brackets stolen, which are custom fabricated and it's about $5,000 worth. And they just got stolen, not from this site, but from another site that they're bringing it uh, from. So they're getting those welded again. Pour has been delayed, you know, by two days now. Um, yesterday the storm got us and also at the same time the concrete guys had some of their materials stolen which was required for the pour so we we're actually pushed back by two days so now we're pouring tomorrow but I am using my time wisely you know we're wrapping up at the custom home just doing some finishing touches um, got a haircut finally feeling so feeling like a, a load came off my head you know it was I went pretty long. I think I went almost six or seven weeks without a haircut. That was too long for me. Usually three or four weeks and my hair growth, you know, is pretty good. But I can't go too much longer than that. Also got uh, time to do some paperwork this morning. You know, I have been running a little bit behind on my POs for our duplexes. You know, so I was preparing those. I'll be sending those out to our contractors this afternoon so they, they can order the materials, you know, hold our pricing. The prices are fluctuating so much, you know, we're getting the word that maybe lumber is going to come down, but we haven't seen those decreases yet. And we're getting a little worried, you know, we don't want to build all the houses at high material costs and then get stuck with a product that we pay too much to build and we're not able to sell it. We're trying to, you know, work out a strategy so we can, we can build at a decent cost and still are able to make uh, decent amount of money when we are able to sell it so it's a tricky market for sure you know being a newer home builder I would prefer the market to be more stable and more predictable than what it is right now you gotta improvise and you gotta learn and uh, adjust to what's going on in the market I think that shows your strength in a business so hopefully uh, the moves we're making will help us and move us in the right direction truck already pumping another one lined up let's go take a closer look this pump is so fascinating it takes the concrete from the truck and pumps it all the way up there and it shoots it down with good pressure let's take a look so there's one guy who is uh, controlling the hose. Uh, they're filling up almost nine feet of concrete there. And there's other guy who seems like he's leveling it out, give it a flat finish, take out the, the excess and just kind of dump it out. Look where I'm standing. I'm afraid of heights too. And when I first started, I was always really scared of walking on these ramps. But then my concrete guys have given me confidence over the years. And now I'm able to stand here. <laughs> this piece of, uh, I think it's 2 by 10 that you see beside me, that's where our electrical meter is going to go for the house. You can see across from me too, there's another one, that's for the second unit. 
Um, so we put this wood board here. That's where they're going to launch, uh, install their meter. It's called the electrical mast. Um, I'm going to get down here from here. Oh, now I can talk with ease. So as you can see, right over here, right maybe like a foot away from this electrical mast is going to be the side entry door going to the basement. A future electrical meter will be here where my electricians will be coming and running their service to. Um, so yeah. So this power should go on for maybe a couple of hours. And then they'll come back, they'll, you know, they'll come back tomorrow and take out all the form work that's uh, on these walls. They'll take, they'll, they'll take these boards out. And then we get our weeping tile in place. We have to get it inspected by the city, make sure our foundation's good, meets all the code requirements, and then we can get our uh, our dirt put back into the hole, which is called backfilling. So that's happening next week, um, and then we'll get set for framing. I got back to my car now to get a little warm. It's chilly out there. It's only my. It's only plus two. Um, so it's, it's gonna get warmer as the day goes on but the boys are working away the concrete trucks are lined up which will take them I'm expecting about two to three hours um, out here then they'll go take a break and maybe come back later in the evening to clean up all their stuff or even tomorrow morning um, to take their garbage from their prep work and remove the forms tomorrow and uh, We'll be ready for our next trade. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with some feedback if you saw a thing or two that I can improve on or if I missed something that you want me to cover next time. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more regular content. This is just the beginning. Thank you.